Hello, second year. How are you? Are you happy? Fine? Okay. Well, so today is Wednesday. Yes. Um, bye bye, Unit 3. Hello, Unit 4. Yes. Okay. And uh, it's the. Um, wait a minute. It's the 6th of May. Yes. Okay. And um, well, we are in a new unit. Yes. Remember to study all comparatives, superlatives, and everything, all the mistakes that I have corrected. Yes. Okay. Y la gente que todavía estaba media flojita con las cosas, con las entregas y esa, a partir de esta nueva unidad, a ver si se pone las pilas y entrega todas las cosas que tiene que ir entregando, porque si no se va a quedar super recontra mega archi atrás yes ok wait a minute good bueno agustina ahí te mandé eso que te faltaba está en tu en, tu, en el claso miralo analizarlo una cosa que les quiero decir es que por favor Pay attention to your mistakes. Check everything. Check everything before handing in. Chequeo frase por frase, línea por línea, puntuación, uh, comas, stops, yes, uh, capital letters, ok? Un adjetivo, recuerden cuando es corto, por ejemplo, big, ¿sí? Si quiero formar el... Um, superlative, el comparative, yes, vocal, vocal, consonante, duplico la consonante, diga, dan, ok, estoy comparando una cosa con otra, my house is bigger than your house, ok, uh, si quiero hacer el superlativo, porque hubo muchos errores de esto, y en second year no puede haber ya este error, the biggest, yes, this is the biggest, City, this is the biggest house in the street. Yes, okay. Si es un comparativo, if it is a comparative, a long adjective, que corregimos en la mayoría, es como que no se per... Eh, vamos a poner expensive. Sí, expensive. Expensive, yes. More expensive than, ok? My bike is more expensive than your bike, ok? And then you have the most expensive. My bike is the most expensive. This is the most expensive bag. This is the most expensive house, ok? Is it clear? Entonces, ponete las pilas, repasa y presta atención, porque hasta la gente que no tenía tantos errores volvió a tener un montón de errores elementales, ¿sí? Si escriben en la compu, configuren el teclado y escriben todo en mayúsculas y no tienen el problema de poner esta I, siendo que va a esta I, ¿yes? ¿ok? Uh, in general. Well, let's go to unit 4 because we have a lot of things to do today. Yes, um, what about free time activities? What about free time activities? What do you do on Monday? Uh, not Monday, what do you do on Saturday, on Sundays, on Friday, when you finish, finish school? What are the activities you do, your free time activities? Yes, and so I want you to talk. Ahora viene la parte que vos hablas solo en casa, free time activities. Y si tu papá tu mamá están pasando por ahí, te van a escuchar hablar en inglés. Ok, si todavía no te escucharon hablar. Free time activities. What do you do? Yes. Um, who do you spend your free time with? Who do you spend your free time with? Yes, this is the question. Yes. Who do you spend your free time with? Yes, acordate, WH, auxiliar, sujeto, verbo y el with. Al final, ¿con quién? Who do you spend your free time with? And where do you go? Yes, what do you do? And 
Why do you like spending your free time in that place or with that person? Okay, is it clear? So I want you to talk about this at home. What activities do you do? Do you go fishing? Do you go camping? Do you do judo? Do you do different kind of sports? Uh, what? What activities do you do? Okay, so I, I invite you to uh, watch, to see a... Uh, uh, a picture, not to watch a picture, to see a picture. Yes, on the wall. Yes, acordate que siempre hablo yo, vos pausa el video, pause the video y hablate de las free time activities en casa solito. Pause the video and start. Okay, in my free time, I usually go camping with my friends. I like uh, sharing this moment with friends because uh, they are the best in the world. Yes, I have a best friend, his name is Ta Ta Ta, he's better than, yes, uh, my cousin, yeah, because I tell him or her all my secrets. Do you understand? So, in this time, is the time that I introduce the unit, unit 4, bye bye unit 3, hello unit 4, okay? So, this is the time that I, where I introduce the topic, I talk, as an example, and you have to talk at home, okay? <clears throat> Good. So, where is it? Where is it? Yes. Good. Welcome to New York, it says there, yes? Okay. Uh, you have uh, uh, the street, yes? Okay, you have Empire State, there. Um, you, have, you can see many people here, yes? Okay, so what are they doing? Yes, okay. Remember when you describe a picture, yes, okay, you describe the picture at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left, in the middle, yes, is it clear? In the foreground, adelante, acordate de fore, que es frente, in the background, back, que es espalda, okay? Let's say again, at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left, in the middle, yes, in the background, in the foreground, yes, in the background I can see <coughs> buildings, in the background, on the right, I can see the Statue of Liberty, yes, uh, in the foreground I can see a woman with a dog, yes, she's taking the dog for a walk, yes, all right, um, there is a skater there, he's uh, eating something, maybe a hot dog, yes, uh, there is a man that is walking, he's going to where? How do you say subte? Subway, very good, alguien me dictó por ahí, subway, uh, this is British, American English, uh, how do you say it in British English? Okay, you say underground, yes, I'm going deeper underground, yes. All this is tube también, tube o underground, yes, ok, está copada la clase de donde me gusta, eh, ok, good, uh, well, the subway, hay un lugar, a very famous uh, place in Buenos Aires, and uh, it's called subway, yes, the subway, so the man in the suit, you know what is a suit, un traje, in the black suit, is walking to the subway, um, well, She's riding a bike, yes, there are taxis there, yellow taxis, there is a, a bus, a double-decker bus, yes, that is for sight, uh, for going sightseeing, yes, for tourists, you know, go sightseeing, do you remember the meaning of go sightseeing? Go sightseeing was to visit, is to visit different places of interest, when you are, um, on holidays, for example, yes, okay, so this is New York, um, they are talking, yes, and oh, maybe she's recording something there, yes, okay, um, what else, uh, ah, he's reading the newspaper, he's taking a photo, maybe he's a, a, a tourist, yeah, he is a tourist, you know, the luggage there, Okay, um, well, they are walking and she's handing, uh, she's carrying, um, carrying um, a plant, yes, okay, um, well, that's all. So I want you to 
look at this picture and do the same as I did. Yes, okay? The same I did. Yes, okay? The same as me, I wanted to say. Well, so uh, this is the picture. So what things you can do in New York, for example? Yes, what things you can do in New York? You can take photos. You can... I was using for describing the picture, the present continuous that when you use present continuous for things we are doing now, for things we do every day, for things we are doing now and for describing picture, okay? But now the question is, what can you do? What activities can you do using the present simple in New York? You can take photos, you can go sightseeing, you can take a taxi, yes, uh, you can go skating, you can take the subway, what else? You can take photos, yes, you can eat something, yes, okay. Uh, you can visit um, the Empire State, yes, you can see the Statue of Liberty, you know, there is a bridge, you can see the bridge, yes, okay. Well, the many things you can do, yes, and remember, present simple for activities we are doing now, routine, and present continuous for activities we are present continuous for activities we are doing now, we are doing now, and present simple for things we do every day. Yes, and remember, we use the present continuous to describe pictures. Okay, remember at the top, at the bottom, on the right, on the left. Yes, in the middle. All right, is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, teacher. In the foreground, in the background, okay? Well, again, yes, what's, what, what, do, what can you do? Yes, if you are free, yes? On a Saturday morning, yes, you can relax. You can play with your dog. Yes, you can walk in the Central Park, yes? You can do exercises, do yoga, for example. Yes, so I want you to talk about this at home. Yes, don't sit there and stay there like this. Yes, talk. When I say talk, it's your time for talking. Stop a minute and for five minutes, do, 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 talk, 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 as I did, as if you were doing a presentation. Okay. Well, very quickly, we are going to go to page 45, 45, yes, 45, and then we continue here, yes, 45, I'll tell you uh, on what pages we have to put the date, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49, yes, all these pages from the class book, all right, is it clear? Yes? Good. So let's go. There we go. Okay. So, um, well, look at the photo and listen to three people talking about their free time activities. I have already talked about, they are, what are they doing? Can you describe the picture at home? They are fishing. It is a cloudy and foggy day. Yes? Okay. Would you like to be there in the picture? Yes or no? And why? I wouldn't like to be there because I don't like cloudy days, cloudy or foggy days. Yes, I like fishing, but my problem when I go fishing is that I speak a lot. And I, um, I, um, I use a lot of perfume. And you know, for going fishing, you don't have to take perfume because there are fishes go away, yes, the fish go away, yes, okay, well, um, is it clear, can we go to exercise 9, are you ready for the listening, remember to put the date in all the pages, 45, 46, 47, 48 and 49, is it clear, yes teacher, all right, I have to make your voice too, because I'm alone here, so I have to imagine you are saying yes teacher, yes, okay, Track 38, Unit 5B. Which person is in the photo? One, One, two, or three? Do you eat a lot of fruit and vegetables? Two. Mm -hmm. 
Now you wait a minute. Yes, read uh, the other exercises. Now we are. Track thirty eight, Unit four opener. One. Well, in my free time, I go shopping. I go every Saturday with friends and we go to the city centre. It's fun. Two. After work, I go to the gym. I go about three times a week. After a long day with lots of other people, it's nice to go on your own. And it's good for you, of course. Three. In my free time, I go fishing with my brother. We get up early in the morning and drive to some quiet and beautiful places. It's very relaxing. Okay, so what's the number? Yes, number three. Yes, the one who is in the, <clears throat> in the listening. Okay, I want you to listen again and complete the table at home. Now is the time that you rewind the video, listen again and complete the chart. I will go to the answers, okay? But don't cheat, you stop the video, okay? Rewind it, see it again while you are doing and then play it again to listen to the answers, okay? Because if you cheat, okay? Number one, go shopping. Number two, friends. Number three, gym. Number four, good for you. Number five, morning. Number six, relaxing. Yes, okay? So I want you to go to page. We have already talked about present simple activities we do every day. So the thing I want you to do now, yes, the thing I want you to do now is to go to 100% identical. Do you know any person <coughs> in the family that is 100% identical? Well, you know, they are. Yes, if you see the pictures there, yes, picture, uh, let's say picture one, two and three, they are a hundred percent identical. Yes, okay, so the question is, do you know any twins? The first I have now, yes, um, I have twin uh, nieces, yes, okay, and I haven't seen them before because they were born three weeks ago, two weeks ago, yes, and well, you know, because of the COVID, we have to stay at home. The babies are there with their parents, yes? So we can't see the babies, but we saw the babies in the photos, yes? And they are 100% identical. And the question is, um, how do you do to identify them when they are very little? Because I have an opinion. When they, when they grow up, I think they, uh, well, not when they grow up, from the, from the very first moment, I think they have their own personality. Yes, they are similar, very identical, not similar, they are identical if you look at them, but they have different personalities. So, but when they are babies, how can you identify them? Yes, I will ask my sister then, but yes, it's a bit strange. It must be strange. Yes. Okay. Well, do you know any twins in your family or friends? Do they have the same job? Um, do they have the same hobbies or interests? Do you think when they fall in love, do you think they like the same kind of uh, women? Well, I don't know. Yes. Um, um, do they have a very good relationship? What do you think? Do you know any twins, brothers or sister? Uh, do you have any brother or sister? Do you spend your free time together? And this is the question, yes? Do you spend your free time with your friends, with your brother, with your sister, or are you the only in the family? Yes? Okay, I want you to know this. What are the advantages and disadvantages of being alone, the only child in the family? 
Yes, okay, well, the advantage is, the advantage is that um, if you want something, it's everything for you, yes? But if you have a brother or a sister, you have to share, yes? You have to learn uh, how to share things, yes? Uh, you have to respect the other, the other likes and dislikes, yes, okay? But at home, yes? Not in the, at school, for example. You start at home, yes, okay? So I want you to think about that and talk about this at home, yes? If you get on well with your brother, what is get on well? Muy bien, llevarse bien con. Get on well, uh, get on well with. Do you get on well? Do you, do you get on well with your sisters or brother? Yes? Um, I want you to talk about this. Well, but read the article now. I want you to read the article. Yes, and do exercise three. And I want you to uh, <coughs> highlight the chart. This chart, crime, identica, yes, twins, yes, and complete the table. Yes, okay, now is the time that you uh, pause the video. I continue dictating the answers, yes, but you pause the video, yes, do the activity, okay? Number uh, three. Job, free time activities, okay? Um, well, they are writers, yes? Okay, free time activities, they do gardening and go walking. They kick twi twins, musicians and actors. They do taekwondo and go swimming, yes? And the pet twins are actors, yes? Play golf, you know them. Yes, okay. They play golf, play computer games, and watch football. Well, in this case, um, they are, well, you know, the hairstyle, yes, the hairstyle, yes, is different. Yes, okay. Do you understand? Yes, you know, the hairstyle is different. Then they are identical. Yes, but then, uh, you know, they are from the Harry Potter film, yes, okay? But then they have different interests, yes? Different hairstyle, uh, they wear uh, a different kind of clothes, yes? So, when they grow up, it's, I think it is easier, yes? But when they are babies, is the thing, because you look at them, oh my God, who is who? Yes, okay? So, that must be very funny in some way. Okay, well, I want you to uh, look at the board again. Yes, I want you to look at the board again. And I want you to uh, see. This chant. Yes. And the uh, read collocations. Yes, okay. Uh, the word building. Yes. Okay, so you have a uh, word building, yes, and you have uh, verb plus noun collocations. For example, what's this? Ah, yes, okay, ya me está explicando algo difícil, la teacher no entiendo nada. Okay, no. Pay attention, you have a verb and a noun collocation, yes, words that go together. Yes, okay, so you have do work, do business, do a course, yes, do a sport, do a great or a terrible job. Yes, okay, I will take these pages. Do badly, I did badly in that, in the last exam. Yes, do the dishes, do the shopping. Yes, okay. Uh, will you do the right thing? Are you sure you want to get married? I think you are not, you are not doing the right thing. So do the right thing. Yes, words that go together. In this case, it's case is a verb plus a noun collocation, okay? Good. And then I come and do the, do the shopping, yes, okay? Uh, do a course, do homework, yes, okay? And then you have um, keep, yes? Keep.
Skip the change. Yes, what is keep the change? Quédate con el cambio, yes, okay? Keep quiet. Oh, please, when you finish the classes of English in the last course here, please keep in touch. Keep in touch. Okay? Muy bien. Mantenete en contacto. Yes? Okay? Look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come. Come. Will you keep the secret? Will you keep this secret? Yes? I want you to tell you. Yes? I want you to know that I have a boyfriend. Yes? Will you keep the secret? Yes? Okay? Is it clear? It's a joke, of course. Yes? Because I'm married. Yeah? But <clears throat> you have to keep in touch. Keep quiet. Keep the change. Uh, do you keep a diary? I want to know. I'm not gossiping. I'm not a gossip girl. But um, your secrets are there? Do you keep a diary or not? No, no, no. Just in my mind. Okay? Good. Uh, keep a promise. I want you to keep the promise. Study. Study at home. Yes? Is it clear? So these are words, collocation, verb. Noun collocation plus noun collocation, yes? Keep the change. Keep a diary. Yes? Is it clear? Eso es lo que van a tener en el cuadrito que tienen en la página 46. Yes? And then, um, I want you to look at there. Do you remember this? Yes? Do you remember this? Remember like, love, enjoy. This is a revision in this case. Yes? <coughs> You have verbs, for example, uh, medita, like, love, enjoy, hate, mm -hmm. uh, I like, I love, I don't like, yes, don't or doesn't like, yes, like, hate, love, ba, ba, ba. can't stand, yes, yeah, no soporto. Yes, I can't stand watching Marcelo Dinelli. Yes, okay? Well, uh, the verb, after these verbs, the verbs go with, con que va? ING, well done, okay? Do you remember this? So, pay attention now. She likes, she likes, no te olvides las S en presente simple, yes? Okay? She likes, she likes uh, listening to music. She loves taking the dog for a walk. Yes. They, what? They hate shopping. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes, they hate going shopping. Yes, okay. Uh, she doesn't like reading. Yes. They don't like playing <coughs> basketball. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, he doesn't like flying. Yes. Um, or traveling. He loves playing video games. And she likes, oh, I don't know who. Yes. I don't like, this is not for me. Yes, my students like using the phone. I don't like using the phone. I prefer watching films or reading a book. Yes, okay. Well, so is it clear? Remember, after like, love, enjoy, hate, don't like, the verb goes with ing. But pay attention, don't forget about the s in present simple when you are talking about she likes, he loves, yes, he loves, he doesn't like, yes, okay, change or put the, verb, the s in the verb, likes plus ing. Yes, porque a veces te acordás la S, la, la ING, pero no te acordás de lo otro. Yes, que es the S in the word. ¿Ok? ¿Is it clear? <coughs> well, so I want you to highlight the charts. Yes, highlight the charts. Yes, ok. This chart and this chart here. Yes, the two charts. Yes, and I want you to go very quickly to exercise 4. <clears throat> Exercise four, five, six, and ten. Yes, 
four, five, six, and ten. I will dictate the, um, the answers now, but this is the time that you pause the video. Yes, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Yes, 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 yes. All right, there we go. <coughs> Number four. Good. There. One E. One E. Yes, one E. Do go one E. Go swimming. Two A. Two A. Play computer games. Yes, okay, to A, to G, to H. Yes, 3F, 4G, 5, 4G, A and H. Yes, 4G, A and H. Yes, play computer games. Yes, okay, uh, H. Yes, golf, yes, and it's that, good. 4G, A, A and H. 5B, 6H, A and G, 6A, H and G, yes. 7D, 8C. Remember that this is word building, verb plus noun collocation, yes, okay? Uh, go, words that go always together, yes? Watch TV, do yoga, you, don't, you can't say make yoga, for example, yes? Do yoga, do karate, yes? Okay, good, so let's go to exercise um, five. Complete the questionnaire with five free time, yes? Okay, good. Number one, in your free time, you do what? Do you go swimming? Yes, do you go uh, diving? Yes, okay. Do you go dancing? Do you go shopping? Yes, go swimming, go dancing? No, 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 okay, I'm gonna... go swimming, go camping, um, go cycling, yes, okay. Remember to put things with go, yes, question. Do you go swimming, do you go camping? Do you go uh, cycling? Yes, okay. Uh, go hiking? Yes, okay. Is it clear? Let's go to exercise six. Yes. Interview your partner with the questionnaire, okay? Okay, I want you to do it at home. Do you? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you go camping? Yes, I do. No, I don't, okay? It's just to practice at home, yes, okay? Then you have to highlight the, the chart, like, la, plus, ing, okay? And um, I want you to do exercise 10 very quickly and write sentences. Where? On the book? No, in your notebook, okay? Put the date, open your notebook, yes? And write sentences. Put the title, like, laugh, enjoy, hate, and don't lie. You have this here. And I want you to write own examples. One with I, one with she. One with I. For example, I love... Uh, reading books. My mother doesn't like cooking. I like listening to music. My best friend doesn't like watching TV. My friend, my best friend likes um, watching Netflix, yes, and I don't like using the phone, yes, okay, is it clear? One with she, one with I, one with she, one with I, yes, okay, use them, okay, two, 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 two. 10 sentences, okay? Uh, these are own sentences, okay? Good. Uh, and well, from page 47, that is all. Remember to pause the video, do the sentences, write the sentences, yes, and then um, continue with me. Let's go to pages 48 and 49. I want you to highlight the words here. Highlight the word here, the words here. Okay, on page 48. 
Yes, the adverbs of frequency, the expressions, the vocabulary. Yes. Oh, let's repeat. Are you there? Okay. Do online shopping. Go for a walk after the sun. Have a coffee. Make phone calls. Play online games. Read a book. Browse the internet. Text friends. Use social media. Watch videos. Okay? So I want you to write two activities you do every day and one activity you never do. Yes? So write in your notebook one activity you do every day and one activity you never do. Um, yes, I speak English every day. I teach every day. I record I record videos um, from Monday to Fridays. Yes, <clears throat> the classes, of course. Yes, and I never, I never, I never, 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 never watch horror film. Yes. I never watch horror films. When I was a child, yes. When I was your age, yes. I saw Freddy Krueger. Uh, let me say exactly Freddy Krueger. Yes. And Halloween. Yes. Martes 13. But now, no. I never watch horror films. Yes. Okay. Well, I want you to do these sentences. As the teacher does, you do it at home. Okay. So, let's go very quickly and I want you to uh, go to the listening. You are going to um, listen. Just look at the photo. Well, that's a Nova Rosen photograph. What is he... F um, what does Nova photograph? Yes? Okay. A polar bear. Do you like them? Oh, it look, they look very nice. All white. Yes? They look like a teddy bear. Yes? Okay. So, do you think um, this profession is nice to be in the in the North Pole? Yes, in the Arctic. Yes, taking photographs of these animals. It must be very interesting. Yes, but very cold. Yes, freezing. Yes, okay, because there is frozen. It is freezing, but there because there is frozen. Do you understand the difference between the two, the two words? All right. Are you ready? We are about to finish, yes? One page more and you are free. Yes, okay? Send me your photos, please. There are a lot of people who are sharing photos. I want to see you, yes, doing the things. Send me a message, maybe. All right, there we are. Pa -dum, pa -dum. Da -da -da -da. Track 41, Unit 4B. Okay, you know, first of all, read, yes, read the sentences from 1 to 10. Yes, okay, because it is part of a documentary about his life, about Novot, yes. Then you have to answer the questions, yes, no, or we don't know, yes. Yes, no, or we don't know, okay. Good. All right, there we are. Norbert Rosing's photos of animals are famous. His photos are often in the National Geographic magazine or on the website. A lot of his photos are of polar bears in the Arctic. Norbert goes to the Arctic once a year and he always goes in the summer. He's sometimes there for a few weeks and sometimes for a few months. He likes the Arctic because there aren't many people and it's one of the last places in the world with no roads. He usually goes by snowmobile and by boat. Between August and November you can see polar bears every day. He usually goes by snowmobile. Snowmobile, yes, okay. And by boat. Between August and November, you can see polar bears every day. 
Also, in the summer, the sun shines 24 hours a day in the Arctic. I know, did you know that? That the sun uh, is in the summer is 24 hours a day. Yes, okay? All day long. Between August and November, you can see polar bears every day. Between August and November. Also, in the summer, the sun shines 24 hours a day in the Arctic. So Norbert can work at night. In fact, he takes the best photos at night. He doesn't often work during the day, so he has a lot of free time. He never sleeps at night, so he sleeps for part of the day. Then he reads a book, plays computer games, or goes for a walk. He's not often bored. Okay, so, uh, you know, as the sun is shining, the 24 hours the the day the time that where um, the time that you go um, to bed is different so uh, he plays and he does many things yes uh, during the night yes okay and the day she says okay well number one yes number two don't know number three no well remember to stop the video do the activities, but yes, no, we don't know, and then listen to the answers. Don't cheat. Okay, one yes, two don't know, three no, four no, five yes, six don't know, seven yes, eight no, nine yes, ten no. Okay, um, well, we have already talked about uh, if it is a good idea to have a job there, yes, and depending on what you, what you think, yes, okay it's freezing there yeah so i don't know if it is a great idea okay well this is, let's go to exercise six another listening you are going to listen to the sentences and put the adverbs there remember we have the adverbs from present simple always never sometimes usually rarely what else often yes okay always all right are you there yes there we are ready Da, 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 da. Steady and go. Track 41. Complete. Unit 4B. Norbert Rosing's photos of animals are famous. His photos are often in the National Geographic magazine or on the website. A lot of his photos are of polar bears in the Arctic. Norbert goes to the Arctic once a year and he always goes in the summer. He's sometimes there for a few weeks and sometimes for a few months. He likes the Arctic because there aren't many people and it's one of the last places in the world with no roads. He usually goes by snowmobile and by boat. Between August and November, you can see polar bears every day. Also, in the summer, the sun shines 24 hours a day in the Arctic. So Norbert can work at night. In fact, he takes the best photos at night. He doesn't often work during the day, so he has a lot of free time. He never sleeps at night, so he sleeps for part of the day. Then he reads a book, plays computer games, or goes for a walk. He's not often bored. Okay, he's never bored, yes, okay, because he does many things. He takes photographs, then he plays the PlayStation, video games, yes, okay, and different things. He reads a book. Yes, okay. So let's go to exercise six there. Often, always, three, sometimes, four, usually, five, never, six, not often. Okay? So let's go to, uh, did you highlight the charts? The always, never, and then the adverbs of frequency. Okay? I want you to do exercise nine very quickly. 
This is according of your life. For example, I always work eight hours a day. I am never late at work. I am never late at work. This is teacher. Um, I don't have a long lunch break. I always uh, leave home early in the morning. I go to the gym. Uh, I usually travel to other countries for my holidays. Uh, I never play video games late at night. David plays video games late at night. Yes, David plays. Remember to put the S, okay? Then you go to the grammar expressions there. How often? Siempre que preguntamos con how often, la respuesta va a ser un adverbio de frecuencia. An adverb of frequency, okay? Always, never, sometimes. So, this question is for you. How often do you watch Netflix? Always, okay? How often do you go to the cinema? I never go to the cinema. I usually go to the cinema. I often go to the cinema. Yes, so I want you to think about that. Yes, okay, make question with how often. Remember, how often, auxiliar, sujeto y verbo. Yes, how often, you already know this. Más auxiliar, no te comas el auxiliar. No estamos en tiempo de comer auxiliar todavía. How often, más sujeto, más verbo. Ya vamos a comer auxiliar después, okay? Good, how often do you? How often do you concentrate? Vamos, concentrate, concentrate. Yes? Okay. Good. I want you to go to exercise 11, 12, and 13. Yes? Okay? So, it says, I go to the gym on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. How often do you go to the gym? Okay. My family goes on holiday in April and in September. How often does your family go on holiday? Dale, hace la tres, three, four, five, and six. Okay? Stop the video, remember to stop the video, do the activities and then listen to the answers, okay? I go directly to the answer, straight to the answer, okay? Yes, teacher. Good. Um, how often do you visit your cousins? Five. How often do you drink a cup of coffee? Six. How often do you meet your old school friends? 12. Let's go to exercise 12. Yes, you have to uh, change the underlined words in sentence 1, in sentence from 11, to an expression of frequency. Highlight the expression. Every once, twice, okay. Remember, once a day, twice, three times, four times. Acordate, yes? Okay, so you have once. Twice, y después viene three times, yes, repaso esto, four times, okay? Is it clear? All right, are you ready? Good. So I go to the gym, remember to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answer, yes? Okay. I go to the gym three times a week. My family goes on holidays twice a year. I read all my emails once a day or every year, every year. Four, we visit my cousin once a year or every year. I drink a cup of coffee three times a day. I meet my old school friend once a month or every month. Yes, okay? Siempre te voy a decir esta parte, recordá pasar el video, porque capaz que te va a pasar que yo rito todo y vos así. Ah, copadísima estuvo la clase de la teacher Ruth. Nada me hicimos. Ella habla sola. <laughs> yeah? So... That's why I want you to uh, follow um, the steps, yes? Follow the tips, yes? When I say pause the video, you know that you have to pause the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Well, um, exercise 12, yes, it's done. Exercise 13, choose a topic, yes? Choose a topic. Puedes hacerlo con todo igual, yo me lo voy a hacer con todo, pero bueno, choose a topic, and you have to write five questions to end the class five questions with how often yes do you understand so for example sport and exercise how often do you do judo how often do you go to the gym how often do you skate do you do skateboarding 
How often do you go walking? How often do you um, ride your bike? Five questions with how often, but as regard this topic. Number two, work or travel. Me imagino que no va a haber problemas con question con how often. Porque no tenés nada más que ir al video de la clase del 6 del, de mayo. Play it, play it and revise. Play it and revise. Ahora sí que tenés todo para ser successful, yes? No, exitoso. Dale, work and travel. How often do you travel? How often do you travel abroad? You know, what is abroad? Al exterior. How often do you... Uh, prepare your things for your travel? How often do you make lists for traveling? Uh, how often do you travel by bus? How often do you travel by plane? Y ya me pasé. Holidays and free time. How often do you go on holiday? How often do you uh, go walking with your friends? How often do you uh, play in the park with your friends? How often do you play the PlayStation online? How often do you go shopping with your sisters or friends? Yes, okay. Evening. How often do you drink mate in the evening? No, in the evening le mate. <laughs> How often do you drink mate? Porque vos me tenés que contestar. Yes, always, never. How often do you uh, share good moments with your family? How often do you chat online? How often do you um, Google pages of interest? Yes, okay. Y la teacher Ruth se va a grabar otra clase. Remember you have pages 28, exercise 1, 29, exercise 4, 30, 31. One, exercise two, three, and four. Bye bye, um, second year. See you next class. Happy weekend.